the call on Terry, Terry seemed pretty adamant he had pointed his hand out to the ref. What, what was the explanation? What did you guys see on, on the film? Looked like Terry pointed That's his hand out. That's exactly what I thought, too. Thank you. And I got to ask about the Curtis one as well. Um, fourth it, it, the fourth down. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, again, yeah. in fact, don't ask me about the refereeing because I can't answer the question. Yeah, maybe mm. we should start there. Like, maybe, like, yeah. We got to figure yeah, out a way to alleviate or remove this rule where you can't criticize obvious incompetence without having to write a <laughs> right, check. Right. That's the same. Yeah, right. I mean, so on right. top of the fact that you screw oh, me, I can't, I I can't, can't complain call you about, about now, it. <laughs> right. yeah, Come on. Now, you, now, you, now you sil you silencing me now? I'm silenced for, for 90 days? <laughs> I mean, like, what, what's up? Like, I can't say <laughs> nothing. Elijah Muhammad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, no. I'm, Mal I'm like, Malcolm up in here. I can't say nothing. <laughs> like, come no, on. No, it's like, it's like, man, because... And I've, I, I've been beating this drum, I'm sure. You have, many others have been beating the drum about NFL officiating for years, if not decades. Yeah. And I, I, I don't think you can overstate the importance um, of, of their role and how they affect not just a Sunday night football game in December 2022. They affect records. They affect who makes the playoffs, who misses the playoffs. They affect employment. The irony of it all is that part-time employees affect full-time employment in the NFL. Don't get me started. Because don't get I me mean, started people, on these part-timers. People lose, lose jobs. No, I want to get you started. People lose jobs behind oh. losing games. And the, the, the players and coaches are all trained to say, well, you never let it want to put it in the hands of the officials. There were a lot more things that factored into it. I'm sorry. Everybody else works way too hard at their jobs to lose their jobs because they didn't win enough games in part, not in large part, but in part because officials didn't do their jobs properly. On that last sequence, every receiver, every receiver checks with the official to see if they're on the line. And we all saw Terry McLaurin do that. Everybody saw Terry McLaurin do that, okay? Not a rookie receiver. This ain't his first rodeo. He checked with the official. I believe it was Carl Johnson. Don't, don't quote me on that. I believe that's what it was. He checked with the official to make sure he was all set. But what bothers me most about that situation, I'll give it to you, Michael, is not that they were called for illegal formation, which, okay, maybe it's not his obligation. Even though he said he was good, maybe it's not his obligation to make sure he's on the line. So, okay, he did his job. It doesn't bother me as much that they were called for illegal formation. It's that they then decided to swallow their whistle on obvious pass interference. So if you right, can right, determine right, right. to let them play at right. the end of a game and say, hey, you know what, man, I, I ain't see nothing. You know what? They, they just, they both going for the ball. Let's take the time or the place to call obvious pass interference. Here it even is. though the only thing Here that gets is. called more frequently yeah, it, and yeah, for okay. nothing you go, you go twice, confirmed it twice. The only thing that he gets that gets called frequently for nothing more than roughing the passer is illegal contact, defensive holding or pass interference. So if you're not going to call this as pass interference, then you for damn sure shouldn't be ticky tack on illegal formations. Like, what, what's it going to be? Either we're going to swallow our whistles or we're not. Just be consistent. Even if you're not consistent yeah. on what's pass interference, be consistent on whether or not you're going to blow the whistle for ticky tack stuff. I mean, look at that. Look at this. That pissed me off. I ain't a commander's fan. I ain't a commander's fan. I mean, come on. I, mean, I, ain't, come got, on. I, ain't, got, I ain't got skin in this game. I ain't got a dog in this fight. I do, that was That was I do. whack. That was what? Oh, you bet not, your I, money? I just, I just, let, 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 me, let me just you're, put that out there, okay? Let me put that you're, out you're there. Bet, you're bet your that money? Kept me, was that, was that, was that, that kept me <laughs> from a winning week, okay? That, they took money out of my pocket. That's good. Okay, just full disclosure, since it's family, we're all talking. But that's not that's not the reason I'm upset. No, this time, but it wasn't their money this time. It was my money because while I was in Connecticut at the NBC Sports Holiday Party, um, I, I went over, you know, sports betting is legal. So I, I said, hey, why not put my, my bets, your money into action and I'll do my bets. I put money on it. So, bro, and they took money out of my we pocket. Gotta, we got to we got to we got to talk, man. You 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 go you go you venturing into degenerate degenerate status. <laughs> going into the, <laughs> going into the holidays. This went from a gimmick we to like, can, you know, 
<laughs> hey, it's real. This is real. We, hey, hey I can, I can use the extra money uh, going into the holidays. Bruh, don't, don't be like, don't be like Shorty walking down the street with your hand like this, <laughs> talking, about, <laughs> talking about, you know what I'm saying? Blink. Uh, man, go ahead. Blink. <laughs> Asking Blink for money. Blink. <laughs> no. Come on. No. No, don't listen, man. Your money. You know. You know, sometimes uh, and and you know, every now and then, Mike. Every now and then, I'd say maybe once a month or maybe once every giant. couple months. My bad. It, it was uh, giant. My bad. I, I called him Shorty. Shorty was his character. Yeah, yeah. Shorty, in Shorty's the Malcolm X. Giant was yeah. yeah giant, giant was his character is, in More Better Blues. It's a little yeah, guy. Yeah. It's a little yeah, guy right. in, in More Better Blues. <laughs> giant. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, uh, every, you know, every every once in a while, every couple months, I'll take a jog uh, around a local pond. And it's only like a mile and a half to, to go around there, but it's a struggle for a brother. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like a mile and a half. I'm like, oh, but when I'm, when I'm jogging, I always say, okay, now right now, here I am, especially when it's summertime. Okay, well, here I am jogging. Uh, it is difficult for me, and, and this is not even my job, but I'm talking about people who exercise for a living, who work out for a living, who are studying, for a living. So am I bringing this think about what they do to get ready for their job? Am I preparing for my job as well as they are? And if the answer is no, well, I got to up my game because think about all the stuff, all the physical and mental things that they bring to the job just to be ready to play on Sunday or Monday or Thursday or coming up this week on Saturday. And if I'm not if I'm not doing my job, then, 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 then that's a disservice. And so I, I feel like the same way with the league and the officials. I'm not going to stay stop with the officials. I think the league needs to be called out too, because the league is cheap. The league is cheap. They're cheap with their with their two bit cameras. They don't have cameras at every game to get every angle. They're cheap because they have part time employees, as you said, doing full time jobs. And I'm sorry, you're not bringing as much as you can to it if you're not devoted to the craft all the time. It's a billion dollar industry with a B, billion dollar industry, and you're yeah. making these moves that aren't even <laughs> consistent. So it's like you said, if you're gonna screw it up and hey, it's just an obvious mistake, it's a mistake, hey, we all make mistakes, fine. But don't sit there very confident in your incompetence and then, and then after the game, give some BS pool report justifying yeah. all the things yeah. you did wrong in yeah. front of a national TV audience. Like I, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm offended by it. I'm offended. Take the my bets out of it because you know, truth be told, only put ten dollars on it. Okay, so fine, ten dollars. I'll sacrifice the ten dollars. Uh, but to get to the bigger point, the bigger point is there are people out there, whether they're fans of the team who are going. And just want to see an honest product whether your team wins or loses you want to see you want to know that everything has been handled correctly or handled to the best of your ability and see that's the other problem the nfl mike has the ability to make it right. better but won't well and that's well, disappointing it, 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 it's it's the credibility here with somebody that's 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 so awash with cash Listen, there's a lot on the line literally and figuratively here. And so if you I think the, I think the point you're making, I, I know the point you're making and I agree with wholeheartedly because I don't think full time officials is the is the answer as in like that's they're still going to screw up. They're still going to and this, yeah, this right. problem is not exclusive to the NFL. It's the same in the NBA, the same with Major League Baseball, global soccer. I mean, like it doesn't matter what sport it is as long as humans are involved error is going to be part of it. Okay. Having said that, though, I think it's the it's the lack of credibility that comes with not with sparing an expense with not putting every effort to make sure it's as good as humanly possible, because I don't think right. that's humanly those as, two, right. as humanly possible. Right. Those two gaffes weren't a result of somebody not being prepared or not knowing the rules or not being experienced. I don't think I don't think they they, they, they messed up because you know what had he been part had he been full time he actually would would have made sure Terry McLaurin was on the line or had he been full time. Maybe that's pass interference. I don't think it's that simple. I don't think it's that black and white, but it's a bad look for a league that makes so much money and now generates so much money through gambling and, and, and other means 
to and other, to and spare other and revenue expense. streams. Definitely. Right, and other revenue streams to spare an expense when it comes to something so integral to the integrity of the game. But let somebody get out of pocket and talk about the officials. They ain't sparing that expense. They come in for your money. Or, or Calvin Ridley. Let Calvin Ridley gamble. And sudden so now we start talking about the integrity of the sport. I mean, okay, that's an extreme example, but let's just, th there are examples every week where you do you question the integrity. Sorry, you in question. You question the integrity of the product, whether that's due to poor officiating, like actual officiating, seeing what's in front of them or poor communication or arrogance, whatever it is. I, that, that's that's poor communication. If, if my man says, "Hey, am I good?" We all know, like, like the look, mm -hmm. the nod, the point. Right. If, if I point at you, if I give you one of those, you, okay, we're on the same right. page. We saw it happen, and so if somebody does that, if a receiver does that, and you're right there. You're like, "Yeah, you're good," and then you throw a flag. So what happened? Yeah. And right. and we'll change. and if you mis <laughs> if you misunderstood that, then. Have have the decency to admit it. I can't stand it when people don't admit their mistakes. I'm wrong a lot. I'll tell you about it. I will go back. You want to go back five years, 10 years, 15 years, stuff I got wrong. I will proudly tell you about it because I'll, tr I'll try not to make the same mistakes over and over. But these folks will screw it up for you and then try to gaslight you and be like, oh yeah, we got it right the <laughs> entire time. Either Either they will admit it, somebody else will admit it on their behalf. On their behalf, they'll admit it after the fact, two or three days, two or three days later. Or when they're really wrong, they ignore it. They just ignore it. We ain't gonna talk about it anymore because we're gonna move on to Monday night. We're gonna move on to Thursday night. You're not thinking about this anymore, so we just want to move on. I, I just, right. I'm just really disappointed by not only this game, Mike, and I know we got other stuff to talk about. I, I'm disappointed by the officiating and the decision making and the communication. Uh, right. in, in several instances, it's not, it's not uh, befitting. the whole slate of games. It's not befitting of, of the country's most popular sport. Hey, thanks for watching brother from another on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe before you leave and be sure to watch us three to 5 p.m. Eastern time on Peacock. Appreciate you.